Thank God for another video. And shout out to my girl, Tina Williams, who was going through so much. And she say, especially with her home girl, and the home girl just can't get her life back together after after the abortion. And you know, I already had a video on abortion. And you know, the Bible don't it really even speaks a lot about abortion. It really don't speak at all too much about abortion, but you do know what it speaks about about how precious a child is. And she said she had a good question. She said, it "Seemed like most of the women she know that has abortions, they have a hard life." Especially when they get older, and you you know, especially when you done had like two or three abortions, and you know the the, the, the changes of the body. And but you know one thing, like I said in the other video, a child is a blessing. And you had another good question: Can a woman be saved through childbearing? And that's a whole other video by itself. That's a whole other video, and I will I will come back and do that. As a matter of fact, I get. My brother, uh, mini man, brother Ernest Walker, to, to do that with me also, and I know he'll do it just if I ask him to. Thank God for you, brother, mini man. And yeah, that's a good question, but that's a whole other video, not to take up too much time. But one thing about a child, the Bible teaches us how a child is a blessing, and that is why you don't suppose to take away a child. But you said, do God send a woman to hell because they have done abortion? See, one thing you got to look at, Tina, with God is, God is a free willing God. God gives us the free will to make choices, and God is a forgiving God. So I don't think God will send you to hell because you have taken out a life on abortion. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. That's why I say y'all give me y'all input. But God gives us a free will to make a choice from right or wrong. And he forgives us, but at the same time, he punishes us. And see, the greatest punishment comes from God. When you get punished from God, man, that's worse than anything we'll go through. Because God's punishment is, is severe. It's no joke. And God knows how to punish you, and he knows when to punish you. And you should be scared of punishment from God, and that's why it should make you straighten up your life. Because he's the only true judge. And when you look at a child and how precious they is, see what... Yeah, I, I, I agree with you in so many ways because I know a lot of women that has went through abortion. And they be having it rough. They have it rough. And some can't even have kids no more. And they get married and can't even give their husband a, a child. And that's that's pretty deep. Because there's so many men want a son, you know, to raise up. And some women have, I know a woman like this, I won't reveal her name, but so many women have had so many divorces that their health problems is never going to be back. I mean, their health will never be the same like it used to because... When you take a kid out, it takes a lot out of a woman. And I know this woman, she's been having hell since she's been, you know, going through abortion. And she's a great friend of mine that I've been knowing for years. And she, we talk about this all the time. And she always asks me questions as far as the Bible on that. Do you think I'm going to hell? But no, I don't think you're going to hell because God forgives. That's why I say he's a, he's a God of free will. He lets you make your own decisions. That's why we got a choice to go to heaven or to hell, heaven or hell. But a child, that seed, the Bible teaches you how that seed is a blessing. You don't destroy the blessing. The sin has already been done and committed, but you don't kill that blessing that's on the inside of that womb because that blessing comes from God. And we don't never know what that baby was going to grow up to be. And see, here's the thing I look at, and I tell any woman that's going through this, the main thing they don't look at until they get older is that that child was a blessing to take care of you when you get older. See, so many people done took out their children that they didn't realize that that child, once that child growed up, you'll see your children supposed to take care of you when you get older. Ah, but a lot of women don't think about that until they get older. And when you take the child out, you have nobody to really take care of you. Because your mom, like my mama, my mom is going to get old, you know. Her mama is gone. My mom, my grandma is dead and gone. So my mama had to take care of her, of her mother when her mother got real ill. So you're taking out your help pretty much. Because when you train up a child in the way they should go, they, they, they should get, they, when you train, the Bible say train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart from it. And when you train up your child right, especially in the word of God, 
though they might stray away, but it's what's planted on the inside will always be there. Just like when we try to run, run away from church. Church. Well, let me say that right. I ain't going to say run away from church because church is just a building. But when we run away from God, yeah. See, salvation is so important. You can run away from the building, but don't let your soul, don't gamble with your soul like many men say. And when your child is, you don't have, you, you have no children to take care of you when you get old. It, it's hard. Because it's hard enough already dealing with family. A lot of family don't even want to do for family. And when you take the child away, you don't, first of all, you don't know what that child was going to be. That could have been a young minister. That could have been a pastor. That could have been a, a first lady. You don't know. A great musician. Could have been a great football player, basketball player, but you would never know. And some women, that's why I said and sat when I was talking about the gift of salvation. This is why so many women won't move forward because you have to forgive yourself. Yeah. So I say, God will forgive you. It's not enough. It's not a, it's not pretty much hardly no scriptures on abortion. What you see about a child, and you see about child bearing, you know, look at Mary. Mary was saved through salvation with her child. We know who her child was. I believe Samuel's mama, uh, Samuel mother was saved through childbearing. So it's, it's, it's a few people in the Bible. You know, but like I said, that'll be a whole other video with scriptures. But we just having real talk right now. Yeah, that, my opinion is you don't never supposed to take the child out. Well, that ain't an opinion. That's a fact. And when you do that, you, you do have a harder life because you, you you have a hard time moving forward, first of all, because you can't forgive yourself. And then the second thing is you, you can't forgive yourself. And then the second thing is you might can't have kids no more. Yeah. I know people don't like to hear stuff like this because the abortion rate is sky high. Yeah. That's why I don't understand why you just, if you don't want to take care of a child, you should at least let somebody adopt a child. Don't kill the child, you know. But you know what's a lot of women, first thing they do is, oh, I got to go get an abortion. And then you know what the thing I hate the most is, some women, they'll have that abortion and don't even think, they don't even care. It's like they have no feeling. Not all women, but you got some, they so used to doing abortions that they used to it. Oh, well, you know. And some of them be doing it just so they can get their figure back. They don't want to gain that weight like when a woman go through a, a you know, going through carrying a baby for nine months. They they put on weight. Some women don't put on. They put on weight and they they, they I, hey I need to keep my figure. So I don't have no problem with an abortion because I don't need all that extra weight on me. So let's take care of that now. But not even thinking about the child. That child was gonna take care of you when you got older if you if you train the child up right. Now the child is gone. That's why people when they get older they have. So many problems. And they be looking for somebody. A lot of women get older. Men too. They get older. They get depressed. They get lonely. They stuck by themselves. See, children are a blessing. Think about it. We wouldn't be here. What if our mothers gave us up? See, somebody, somebody, mama gave them up for, for abortion. I mean, had their life taken away. And it, it, it's sad, you know. It, it hurts my heart very deeply. It does. It, it do. But like I say, I'm not a judge. But I always look at God, and he's a free will and God. He gives you a gift of free will. That's just how God is. And that's the good thing about God because, oh, what if it wasn't for grace and mercy? Man, like I said, we would all be in hell. We would all be in hell if Jesus never came. Ain't no, ain't even no discussion about that. We was all on our way to a burning hell. So we should look at those child as a blessing. That's why I don't mind raising somebody else's kids and having somebody else with their kids because I don't have none. But it's sad that there's so many little children out here without their parents then there's some, so many children never had a chance in life. And you know, some men call this selfish, but it's too many men that be the first one to say, let's go get an abortion. So I keep it real on both sides. I know men right now, they just love having sex and they won't strap up. And when the baby comes, they, they've been doing it so long, they don't even care. Oh, man, you know the routine. Hey, let's go get it done. Child never had a chance in life. And you can experience a lot of troubles in your life as a, as a mother that has went through so many abortions. You can mess your body up. So like I say, some women, I know a lot of women, they can't even get pregnant no more. And they gift is they always wanted to give their husband a baby, but 
They done took out so many babies that they can't have babies. And that's sad because the, the babies are a blessing. They are. The babies are so precious. Yeah, they're going to give you trouble when they get older. They get bad. They grow up. But they are a blessing. We was bad growing up. We gave our mama hell in so many ways. Oh, I didn't know no perfect child growing up. I know I wasn't one. Yeah. Ain't all that good now. That's why God got to keep me in line. <laughs> when, I think, when I think about doing something wrong, oh, that Holy Spirit, it hit me. That's why he said it ain't about how good we are. See, we think we're going to be so perfect to get in heaven. I don't know why. <laughs> he told you it ain't about your good works. It's not about your good works. How good you are. He tells us that. And we think it is so, so, we got to be so, so perfect and do this. That's why he told us we was born in sin, shaped in iniquity. And we know what iniquity means. We was born in a sin. So that lets you know that God will forever be working on you to pull out something inside of you that you was born with. That's what that mean to me. Born in sin, shaped in iniquity, born in sin. That's why we confess and we repent and turn from our wicked ways because your everyday life is going to be tough. Ain't nothing easy about life. Ain't nothing easy about being a Christian. And, and Matthew tells us, Jesus said, ain't going to be nothing easy by getting into heaven. That's why he said, it ain't about how good we is. No. It's an it's a everyday walk when you're walking with Jesus. But your walk shouldn't be the same walk it was last year and the year before. Let me get on out of it because I'm going into a whole other video. But that's my input on abortion. And God bless.